What's up guys, today we're back with another vibes and we're bringing you the Axel SCX6 Now we can't wait to show you what comes in this box guys And I did a lot of upgrades here I can't wait to show you guys what I did I spent some time with this vehicle to make sure that I tune it properly So when I come out on the trail, this vehicle is going to perform extremely well I'm going to open up this box, show you what comes inside of it And I'm going to show you all the upgrades, all the modifications that I did So you guys can have a first look of what's going on here And then we're going to take this on the trail And we're going to watch this truck perform We got the manual there there goes your SCX6 guys and here is the radio now the radio is a DX3 it comes with four AA batteries and it also comes with a thumb steer you got cruise control up here this is to you know go forward and backward and it's a three channel radio you have a battery illuminator light to show you that when the battery is low come with steering trim also you could turn on the power of the throttle you don't want to go fast you want to turn on the throttle you could turn this down here so it's pretty cool but guys i'm not going to be using this controller i'm going to be using the fly sky gt5 but this is what it comes with and let's get inside this and show you what's going on there you go guys scx6 from axel racing now guys from the get-go i want to show you what's going on here we modify the tires all four tires get modified i cut off some treads in each of the tires one in one out one in one out i make a crisscross so i open up space so the tire can grip better on the rocks i modify the front fender right here i cut a piece off so the tire don't touch and then or the fender don't touch the tire also cut a piece of the side railing right here the wheel is to be touching here not touching anymore i cut the both fenders guys and the both side railings because the wheel was just touching two of them had to be cut so i cut that we also put action figures inside of the the cab we put dashboard lights put cab light in there guys remove the plastic from the front windscreen and we also remove the plastic on the driver side and the passenger side we did that so you can see the action figures inside of the cab much better guys i want to tell you a list of upgrades that i did with this vehicle starting with the servo we have power hobby 100 kg servo aluminum waterproof high torque brushless servo moving on to power hobby again aluminum coupling and bearing for the front of the diff and up front here we got the aluminum front bumper mount and that is from power hobby right here with this battery is sitting on moving on to shock mount we put shock mounts on the four side shock mounts is from lcx racing aluminum front and rear shock tower mount and moving on to the wheels here the wheels is from rc4wd Huntsman spider 40 series 3.8 beadlock wheels and moving on again in the wheel right here we got the the brass spaces from rc4wd 17 millimeter universal hex spaces for 40 series so that is what get the rim hooked up together and then now we're moving on to pro line 2.9 dual stage crawler foam inside the tire and moving into amazon cab and dash lights and action figures inside here all right so i'm going to open up and show you guys what's going on in there so to open up the body from the chassis you got two clips underneath here you got to pull these clips out here and it's pretty simple to come out you pull those clips out and then you lift the whole body off just like that and inside here I have two 5,000 milliamp battery. Now this is another modification that I did here. I changed the plug and I also put this connector right here so I can connect the power hobby servo. And I got another 1,400 milliamp battery up here and that will power the lights. We also have a Flysky six channel receiver in here. And there's another thing that I did here guys. When I first tested the vehicle, it was brand so hard the two diff song dry so what i did i opened it up and i put grease inside it and since i feel it with grease it get much more silent there's no grinding i did the front and the back diff and i also went inside of the gearbox i take down the motor and i went inside of the gearbox to get the gearbox of song and grindy guys so what i did i open it up check it out i see it's all metal gears and then there was little or no grease in there so i feel that with grease guys i really pack it with grease because the, the shell of the gearbox was so empty gears was just sounding so loud so what i did i just fill that with grease guys and by filling it with grease that just take away all the noise 
the Vika sound so quiet now. And the next thing I did, I removed the fan. The fan was so loud. And I put extra plug here to plug on the fan if I need to connect the fan. If I find ESC is getting too hot, cool down the ESC. So those are the modifications that I did and upgrades that I did with this truck. And on the power hobby, I used the original servo horn, what comes with the truck. And this is your servo back here for your high and low gear. Pretty cool. Guys, let me just tell you, the truck comes with headlights, port lights here, bumper lights. Got one right here, got another one right there. And it come with tail lights. And trust me guys, the truck is ready to go on the rocks. I can't wait to show you guys how this truck performs. And I got one more thing that I want to tell you guys. The spare tire, I removed the foam from the spare tire. So the back can be much lighter. And let me just talk about underneath the truck for a second. Underneath the truck here, we got some real beefy um, upper links and lower links. So we got four suspension links at the back and we got three suspension links up front. The skid plate is plastic. The, the dry shaft is plastic, the board dry shaft. And the shocks is aluminum shocks. Pretty nice shocks, guys. I don't have any problem with the shocks. Damping, you know, really nice. I like it. I adjust it to the way that I want. And I also remove the back shocks, I put it facing forward. I don't keep it in the middle hole. And the front shocks, I put it backward. So that way we can have a better approach angle on the front of the truck and at the back of the truck. Also, we got this piece at the back here, guys. If you get stick or you can go up certain things, you can remove this and that will come off. And you can put that below the wheel so you can easily climb up, you know. So we got two of those. Pretty slick here. Easy to come off and easy to go back. And also... Right here, we got a box. We got two clips on the both sides to remove and you got like a compartment back there. Pretty nice design. You can store some things back there. Anything you want to keep back there is fine. So yeah, I think, you know, I touched on everything that I needed to touch on. So now guys, I think all left to do is to take it on the rocks and see what all the modification and upgrades do.